Hey guys, Jason from Baxter Marine. We're going to be looking at the 2023 MB B52 25 footer. This boat's huge. I'm going to start in the front. We're going to work towards the back. You guys are going to love this thing. Starting out in the bow here, you can see it's a massive bow. There's enough room for me and probably three of my buddies up here. Um, <laughs> you can see me sitting out here and my feet aren't even, I'm still a foot away from touching the, the backrest. There is a removable center center uh, bow cushion here, so it's a great place to lay out, great playpen. They've got excellent traction and a nice flat surface, especially on the edges on the front up here. So it's very nice for when you're loading uh, people into the boat at the dock. Um, they've got some non-slip traction here, and it's uh, no skid traction, and it's gonna be easy for them to get on the boat and not worry about slipping and falling. Um, this particular boat, uh, it's, it's well optioned here. We do have a wind uh, a windscreen that goes in here. There's a couple heater outlets in this, a, a seat heater. This boat has a lot of features that you'd come to expect out of a 25 foot boat. Some other steps that we wanna talk about with this boat uh, in particular, this is a 25 foot boat. So it's much bigger than the 23. Uh, on the trailer, in the water, in all aspects of it, it's just a larger boat and it's much deeper as well. This boat weighs 6,500 pounds dry. We have it equipped uh, with just under 5,800 pounds of plumbed in ballast. Uh, that does include the tanks. And we do have some simulated people weight. Uh, I'd say about equivalent to about five people because we want to give you a, a look at what this boat's going to be like when you're out on the water with your friends. So it does have a little more than standard ballast, um, but as it's equipped, we're going to show you this boat definitely makes a great wave and we'll sh we will be showing you that at, towards the end of the video. Uh, storage is ample in this boat. We've got, well, we, you can see we've got boards in here, in board bags, plus we still have got a ton of room up there. Um, in the floor, nice cooler spot here. We've got store, uh, flip up here, it's a nice place to put, uh, you put your shoes, stuff like that in there when people are hopping in and out, quick and easy access and out of the way. They've added a garbage can in here. The, the can is not in, but you can see it's easy access. It just pops closed. Um, there's ample access down here to storage. So we've got a couple coolers in there, and you can see ballast will not affect that. Um, the ballast bags end right about uh, right about here, towards the end of where your storage space is. There. Flip up seating here is nice. You reach down in the middle, pull back. The little switch there. You flip, and now you've got center center seating that's flipped over and you can uh, you can have rear view seating there as well as here so they've done a very good job setting this boat up for having numerous people in the boat and being able to be entertained watching you uh land your 1080s foiling all that fun stuff that we love to do with our friends in our in our mb boats one thing we wanted to show you was how mb stepped up their game with the seat hinges all of these seats that you guys see in the boats they're all hinged and there's uh, gator step traction under all the compartments. So it's a nice, clean, refined finish. Also, you can see these hinges and why they're important. I mean, it's nice for the access. You don't have to hold it up. It holds itself up. And additionally, when you're driving down the road at highway speeds, you're not going to worry about your cushions going flying out. I think we've all seen, well, being a dealer, it's happened more than once where the cushions have fallen out of the boat going down the highway. Up front here in the bow, there's even large storage under the seats. Obviously, we've got um, an aftermarket ballast bag up here, so it does take up some space there. We can see the gator step underneath. Um, it's a nice, clean look, and these are hinged as well, hold themselves up. And there's a storage locker here underneath the center for all you solemn skiers out there. Here's a place to put your, uh, your solemn ski or a great place to keep some bumpers, extra life jackets, and the anchor compartment. So it's not impeding any other of your storage space there, but really a nice feature. It holds itself up here, locks into place. Um, they've done a really good job though with that. And, and I think when you see this, this boat in person, it is impressive. So you can see here, this boat does have the power tower um, over here, plus the light is, lights right there. We do have this boat equipped with our favorite board racks, the uh, white powder coated Skylon Skylock racks makes it very simple. They caress even these very fragile surfboards. You can see we've got uh, three three basically uh, glass boards in here, 
and and uh, we've got our foil in there too we'll be doing some foiling later today on it this boat in particular does have an extra set of speakers um sound system the jl sound system just really sounds superb on this it's a great sound system um, I, I think you'd be pretty impressed with it um you can see when you turn on the helm now this is a little different for mb yes they have gone to dual screens you can see we've got two screens there now they have had analog gauges that they've had there before um they've done a really good job of updating this this was their standard screen um in the 23 footers this is now standard in the 25 footers so uh eight pack buttons down here um it will turn on your blower every time that you hop in um but this boat is equipped with a 440 raptor um and it has plenty of oomph to push this boat the weight through the water to create the the wave and really what we found is that this boat likes to have center weight. Uh, it, it really, you don't wanna be putting extra weight in this particular boat in the rear. You wanna be putting more weight towards the center of the boat. Um, we did upgrade to an aftermarket bow ballast bag and we found that that, uh, that elongated the wave and made it a lot nicer, made it a lot better shape. Um, in regards to ballast, I wanna talk about the ballast system here. This, this has not been changed, but to fill your your ballast tanks, you literally just pull on this. The boat doesn't even have to be on. The gates open up and you're gonna put your tank ballast in there. Over 2000 pounds of ballast will be subfloor. And then we will pump in water into the bags that are connected over the top of the tank. So you always wanna fill these first, let these fill up all the way before you start running your pumps. Very important in any of the MBs. Um, I get over here, we go to this screen we we are running quite a bit of weight so we are going to run a little faster at our surf speed on here um but you can see i just basically go there to start filling and we're filling the front bag now i'm waiting for my tanks to get up just a hair more and then we will start filling those as well now we're in the back of the boat and this is one of my personal favorite features when i went to the factory and seen these the, the prototype boat it was big and I, I i actually only could see the hull i couldn't see the deck they didn't have the deck done yet uh, or available for me to see. But you gotta see these seats on the back. It is unbelievable. I mean, I'm just a hair under six foot tall and I look small back here. Um, but these seats are just, they're very comfortable. Great when you go to the sandbar. I mean, look at this. This is, this is comfort. And uh, the first time we got this boat in the water, everybody was gravitating towards hanging out in the back here. And uh, it's a great spot to chill when you're at, like I said, at the sun, sun or the sandbar. There's storage in here. So you put shoes, ropes, vests, wet vests, great place to put that stuff. And the walkthrough is just very nice and, and well thought out um, and non-skid with steps going down. So you're not, people aren't sliding off the fiberglass and landing in the water. But this boat is, uh, this boat is something else. I really am impressed with it. Check out the depth when I'm sitting inside of it. This is, uh, this is one of the deepest boats that I can remember sitting in. And it's got great creature comforts. It's got the, the chill uh, vinyl in it. It's, it's very, it's, I think we're in low 70s today. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie. It's been hot out, so 70 now feels kind of cold. But I mean, these are, this is not hot at all. And it's, you know, a nice sunny day out here. We've got our ballast full here. We're gonna show you what our screen settings are. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you the wave. So you can see over here, we've got it on surf left. Uh, we got it set to 11.6 miles an hour. All of our ballast is full. We've drained off just a little in the front and our center position tabs at 85%. Let's take a look at what this wave looks like, folks. You can see she shapes up really nice. It does have a nice, nice clean face on it. It's got a nice boosty vertical face towards where it's curling, but a lot of length. It's obviously got height, and with the amount of ballast that this boat has in it right now, um, it really is a nice wave, especially if you like to surf on a surf style board. Um, I'm going to go out here behind the boat with the skin board and uh, give you a little preview of, of each step of the boat. 